Hello, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple blueprint prefab. If you don't know what they are, I do have a, a very brief tutorial on um, my YouTube that explains a little bit about what they are and why they're useful. Um, so here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these three pieces here to create a um, three individual pieces from the mesh folder to create a blueprint stage prefab here. So what we'll do is I've got a folder called blueprints. We'll go into this folder and right click and go to blueprint class. Select actor, we'll give it a name, so this will be BP, say, test. So open that up, and what we're gonna do is go to our mesh folder, and obviously this is dependent on your project. You might have houses, for instance, but it's ex exactly the same uh, method. And what we'll do is we wanna find our stage pieces. So if I just shrink this down, and move to me stage right. So here's one piece. And um, what you want to do um, is always make sure um, that you select your default scene route when adding another one in, because what will happen is if you don't, and we drag this in, um, it'll add it under that. And this isn't a problem, um, but sometimes it can cause issues if you resize the stage. For instance, if you made that two by two, it can actually mess up your meshes sometimes. So always, always just go on default scene route, um, unless I need it for other reasons. So default scene route. And what we'll do is then we'll move our stage up and then we're going to duplicate this. So just control C, control V. And again, control C, control V. And again. So as you can see there, we've got the base for our, our little stage here. So if we just go to our Blueprints folder again, find our one we've created, which is BP test, and we're gonna just come see that. So there we can see what we've done here. So just to make sure we can drag that out, as you can see, it's moving that, so we know we're doing it. And then we're gonna add our little safety rail. So find that in our meshes folder. Uh, where is it? It is there. And then we'll plonk that on put that on the back there and there you go it's a very quick example of how a prefab works and how to create one obviously you can do anything that's um houses uh, streets whatever you know so we can duplicate this great thing about prefabs uh, prefabs is we can duplicate this out and you can have some huge great scene and you think oh actually not keen on those rails so you can go click the rail go back to our prefab click the rail and say we want this type of rail, and it does it to all versions of the prefab, so you're not having to individually go back through everything and, and you know adjust it, which obviously is a huge time saver. I believe it's better for performance as well, um, which is obviously naturally very good. Um, you say we can say right now, oh, we want to, um, what should we put on there? Say a guitar cab. So we can put that on there. As you can see, it's added to all of them. And you do every, you know whatever you want, and as you say, it's, if you had a huge rate stage here, um, you can imagine the amount of time saving this would do for you. Um, you can also add things like lighting in here. So if I go to one of my blueprints here and go to the light cannon, you can see here it's got a light built into it, and um, just turn that that way. And I've actually made it so that you can expose. Um, a variable, so I've done it so you can rotate the light um, easily, um, adjust the intensity to so make it crazy. We can um, make it red. Um, how how far you want it to go? How defined the cone is? Um, you you know, there's no limit to this. So you could say create a building, and you could have lights on it. You could have it so that you can change the color of the building and all sorts of things like that. So this is just is just a very simple tutorial of how to create a simple blueprint prefab like this I hope to get you started with your uh, own um, prefabs but they're, they're brilliant because they give you really good ideas of you know what you can do with assets you know you you may look at say something like this and think well I can't really do much with it but when you when you start getting creative you can do a huge amount with very little um, so yeah hopefully that helps um, if it does please give a, a like and maybe subscribe thanks